We all hate shopping. I mean, don't we? But there's a few international chains out there that has added a little something that makes shopping just a little bit more tolerable at least for dudes. And that is cheap foods at their food courts to make your shopping nightmare just a little bit more palatable. And the two that rise to the top of this heap are Costco and Ikea. Here you'll find foods like hot dogs and a slice of pizza at prices that have pretty much remained the same since these mega stores opened their doors. But which one is better than the other? Well in this video I'm going to compare Ikea to Costco and find out just who has the better food at their food court for the price you pay. And we're going to start our food court comparison right here at Ikea. I'm sure you can read. Ikea. I'm Dave Kaufman, and this is Dave Kaufman Eats the World. All right, now that we're at Ikea, we are gonna go find the Swedish Bistro, which has to be around here somewhere, and it shouldn't be that hard to find. It's, it's Ikea. This place isn't a maze or anything, is it? Bedding. We found bedding. Over here is bedding. Shower, curtain, stuff. Okay, over here. More bedding. Seriously, the bistro has to be around here somewhere. Here's another corner that leads to absolutely nowhere. Okay, um, we found, um, area rugs. Um, over here, around the corner, m more area rugs. Oh look, the arrow is telling us to go this way. Um, more, more, more rugs. Okay, this is great. I have no clue where I am. I have been in the store for two hours. We... I have no clue where I am. Oh, a bed. Okay, I'm gonna make base camp here and continue on in the morning. All right, so I'm starting to think that Ikea is a Swedish word meaning American hostage. Lamps. Oh, look at this. It's a blowed up Death Star lamp. I'm totally getting this. Okay, we have found the Swedish Bistro here at Ikea. It is virtually empty. Let's go see what they've got. Okay, so we have found our menu board. We're gonna press start. All right, so here at Ikea, we've got a hot dog combo for four bucks. Comes with two hot dogs and only one drink. What's your friend gonna drink? We've got a veggie dog combo, gross. Plant dog, uh, no, come on, let's just keep going. But here you can order just a single hot dog for a dollar. And if your last name is Ikea, I guess that's saying, it's only 50 cents. So take that, Costco. We also have something weird, like a meatball sundae. What is a meatball sundae? Whatever it is, it has allergens and ingredients. I, I don't get it. All right, for more information about the ingredient, contact our staff. Not helpful. A meatball sundae. We're definitely gonna try this, but to begin with, we are just going to get a hot dog. Boink. And boink. All right, so we've got our Ikea hot dog here. I am just gonna do ketchup, nothing else. Ding! And there we go, let's go try this out. So there is our luscious Ikea hot dog swimming in ketchup. I don't know, I mean, it looks pretty skimpy. The bun looks skimpy. Uh, I forgot to bring a tape measure with me, so we are just going to give it the cell phone test. So that is just a little shy of how big my cell phone is. So my first impression of an Ikea hot dog is, again, pretty skimpy. There's not a lot of girth to this hot dog. The bun kind of seems like just any old kind of inexpensive white bun that you're gonna find in the day old section at some grocery store somewhere. Feel soft though, probably not day old. Anyway, we're gonna give this a try. Okay, so I'm retracting that day old comment. This bun really does taste like it's at least a day old. The hot dog itself, not very flavorful. It's actually pretty rubbery, but it's a dollar. And if you're coming to Ikea and you're picking up a hot dog for a dollar, a hot dog for a dollar is what you're gonna get. However, over at Costco, these are a dollar fifty. So we're gonna head over to Costco and we're gonna try out their hot dogs that are 50 cents more. And we're gonna rate this hot dog to Costco's hot dog. All right, so we have arrived at Costco. We are gonna try their hot dogs and compare them to Ikea. 
kind of what this video is about. And there is the hot dog for a dollar fifty, and that even comes with a twenty-ounce soda with a refill. Can't beat that. All right, so you come over here, look at how easy the screen is to use. Hit the hot dog, hit the pay for order. Would you like a? No, no, I don't want that. Balance due, dollar sixty-three. All right, we got our big meaty Costco dog. Like in Ikea, we are just gonna add ketchup. Ding! All right, let's try this bad boy out. All right, so uh, once again, I forgot my tape measure, so we are going to compare that to my cell phone. I don't know, it might be the same size as the one from Ikea, maybe a little bit bigger. So Costco's brand of hot dogs is their own signature brand. It's the Kirkland brand, and I assume that it's the same for this bun, but this is a big, meaty hot dog. The bun, Mm. Kind of looks a little sad to be honest, but whatever. I they got my order up pretty fast, so you know you can either have fast or you can have quality. Apparently, you can't have both. But it's big, it's meaty, it's got the perfect amount of ketchup on it, and like I mentioned, it comes with a 20 ounce soda for a dollar sixty-three. But unlike the IKEA hot dog, this hot dog is much bigger than the bun. It could be that the buns here are smaller, therefore it makes the hot dog look much bigger. But are we kind of splitting hairs there? I don't know. We're just gonna try this out. So right off the bat, this is much bigger, much more plump, and much more meaty tasting than the one that we got at Ikea. This actually tastes meaty like a hot dog, not that kind of sad thing that they called a hot dog over at Ikea. So this hot dog at Costco is much bigger, much longer, much more meatier, much more girthier. I'm gonna finish this off and then we're gonna go back over there and we're gonna try out their pizza and compare their pizza to Ikea because that's what this video is about. <laughs> yep, girthier. All right, so now that we've enjoyed that hot dog, we're gonna get a slice of pizza. And as you can see, uh, you can get a slice of pizza for $1.99 here, but they have two choices. You can either get cheese or pepperoni. I'm going for the pepperoni. Come over here, get pepperoni, pay for order, and no, I do not want any cookies, thank you. And our pizza's on the way. All right, look at that. By the time it took me to walk from there to here, they've already got my pizza ready. Look at that. All right, we're heading over here. We're gonna try this out. We're gonna get around all the carts, and uh, here we go. So here we have Costco's pizza. I mean, this thing is a massive piece of pizza. Piece of pizza, slice of pizza. Why don't we call them piece of pizzas? Why do we call them slices of pizza? Pizza, pizza, slice of pizza. But look at this pizza. That has really thick crust to it. Lots of pepperonis. That cheese is nice and melty. It just looks like a really delicious piece of pizza. And look at how thick that crust is. And it's, again, they don't just give you maybe three pieces of pepperoni. This thing is loaded with pepperoni. Anyway, for two bucks, this is a big old slice of pizza. I don't think there's another pizza place anywhere that you can get a piece of pizza for two bucks. Comment below, let me know where else in the world you can get a big old slice of pepperoni pizza like this for just two bucks. Comment below, let me know if there's another place outside of Costco, of course, that you can get a big old slice of pizza like this for just two bucks. Okay, so now that we've described our pizza, we're gonna try it out. Oh yeah, that is a good tasting slice of pizza. Nice and cheesy, nice and pepperoni-y. But how does this compare mm, to Ikea's pizza? Well, right now, we're heading back over to Ikea. We're gonna try out their pizza and compare the two. Because again, that's what this video is about. All right, so we are back at Ikea to try out their pizza. And while we're at it, we'll probably get a pretzel here as well. They probably have pretty good pretzels here, I assume. The distance between uh, the Costco and here at Ikea is like 25 minutes through rush hour and Minnesota summertime road construction. This is a really inconvenient way to film this video, but we're back at Ikea. We are gonna try out our next item. All right, we are back at Ikea for a pizza slice. We shall hit start. We shall go back through their gross hot dogs. Um, hello? There we go. Wait, 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 no, no, that's not what I wanted. Let's go up here. There we go. Pizza slice 
for $2.50. What do we get on our pizza? I think it's just cheese. There is nothing to distinguish between, yes. It looks like it just is cheese pizza. There is nothing to say, hey, throw some pepperoni on there. Nope, I guess we're getting just cheese. All right, add to cart, $2.73. Wait a minute, this is Minnesota. Why is, there's no tax on food in Minnesota. Hmm. Let's go over here, those pretzels look good. We're gonna try those. But uh, there is the pizza right there. What's up? All it is is cheese pizza. Yeah, no pepperoni, cheese. no pepperoni, no sausage, no nothing. Just cheese. No lindenberry. <laughs> Just cheese pizza. That's all I'm gonna get. <laughs> what? Wasn't that funny? Oh, that's. Oh, that's the. That, I mean, I think that would be good to be honest. Yeah, how, you know. How would you even make that work? Uh, by putting lindenberries on a pizza. Yeah, but like the bacon with it. I mean, it's. You gotta bake it into the pizza. I don't that know. is true. That is true. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> One slice of pizza right there. Thank you, good sir. Not a problem. All I right. Wanna... Oh, He's loving that Lindenberry joke. I didn't think it was a joke. I didn't even think it was all that funny. But if he liked it, hey, you know, great. I made his day. All right. Over here, we're gonna test out this pizza. So you can tell that this pizza is. Uh, it, it's a pretty sizable piece of pizza. It's pretty thin. You can see that there's very few ingredients on top. Most of it is the crust. That crust is the better part of this slice of pizza. It's like they took a big crust and just kind of put some tomato sauce and some cheese on it, but it's pizza. Nobody can be sad eating a big old piece of pizza. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna dive in. We're gonna test out Ikea's pizza. Okay, so I was right. It is basically dough with a little bit of sauce on top and a little bit of cheese on top. Not really sure why they're not offering pepperoni or sausage, just cheese. Just seems to be missing a whole big opportunity. Ikea has everything under the sun. This is a huge place. And yet they don't have pepperoni or sausage or even like pineapple and Canadian bacon pizza. But at $2.73, it's a slice of pizza. It's gonna fill you up. It's not going to be $2.73 of pure pizza enjoyment, but when you've come here for coat hangers and you get caught in the maze that is Ikea for hours upon hours and hours and you're starving, a $2.73 piece of what they call pizza probably could hit the spot. All right, so we're going back in for the pretzel. Oh wait, hey, you know what? If you just hit food, it just, if you just hit, there we go. Maybe, oh yes, there it is, the pretzel for $2.50. We are totally getting one of their pretzels. All right, one pretzel. What is that? This is a uh, hot mustard sauce? Yeah, it's spicy mustard, yep. Spicy mustard. All right, thank you, good sir. All right, so we've got our pretzel. We're going back over here to where we are camped out to try out their pretzel. Uh, as I can already tell, that is a big, weighty pretzel. So here we have Ikea's pretzel. It is big and weighty and thick. It's not shaped like your average, you know, knotty pretzel. This is more like a challah pretzel. But we are just going to break off just, ooh, this is really warm and hot. This is fresh out of the oven. That is very compact pretzel dough, and this is basically how a pretzel should look. Very compact, not light and airy, just the right amount of salt. All right, so let's try out Ikea's pretzels. Mmm, now this is a delicious pretzel. It's still warm, had to wait a couple of minutes for it. It came right out of the oven. It's nice and soft. The outside has that nice crispness to it. Crispness, crispness. Why does that sound really weird and very difficult for me to say? But anyway, the Ikea's pretzels, I really enjoy Ikea's pretzels. They are not your average pretzel, and because they are kind of braided like this, you get a lot more of that bready goodness in each bite as opposed to eating a pretzel that's more, well, pretzel-shaped. Ikea's pretzels, you're doing it right. All right, back at Costco to try one of their signature items here, something called a chicken bake. Not sure why they came up with that name. It kind of sounds like a scared stoner. Oh, I think the entrance is over here. <laughs> All right, so chicken bake for $3.99. And no, I do not want any cookies. All right, chicken bake on the way. So here we have the chicken bake. It's 
kind of like a Hot Pocket with chicken breast, cheese, bacon, and Caesar dressing. This could be interesting. This thing is massive. Look at the size of this thing. For four bucks, this thing could feed like an entire person. We are just gonna tear this open and have a look at what's inside. I refer to this as a Hot Pocket, but it's kind of like a big old breadstick with that cheese baked on top that is stuffed with all those goodies. All right, we are gonna try this out. All right, Costco, your hot dogs rule, your pizza rules. This mm, doesn't rule. It just seems like this was kind of thrown together in a test kitchen and then thrown out to the public to see if it would actually sell. The ingredients inside, they compete with each other. So I don't really taste the chicken. I don't really taste the bacon. I just kind of taste this whole mishmash of chicken salad with a Caesar dressing that just really doesn't have a very interesting flavor to it. This signature item at Costco, not a hit. So now that we've tried Costco's signature item, we are heading back over to Ikea because they had something pretty interesting there and that was a meatball sundae, which I have no clue what it is. So this, I'm gonna pack this up, bring it home, feed it to my pup, and we're heading back over to Ikea to try that meatball sundae. Okay, back to Ikea to try out their meatball sundae thingy, whatever it was, I forgot what it was, but it's just over here, we're gonna go try it out. Okay, here we go. We're back for the, not the hot dog, not the pizza. We are here to try, why doesn't this thing ever work? Work, oh, I just broke it. No, not a veggie dog, no, not a veggie dog. Okay, tried the pizza, tried the pretzel, there it is, Swedish meatball sundae. For $2.50, I have no clue what this is, but we're gonna get it. A meatball sundae is mashed potatoes, and a couple of meatballs, and some gravy, and the secret ingredient, ketchup. No, lingonberry. Lingonberry. See, that is how you put it on the pizza from when I was here earlier. <laughs> you could just squirt that stuff right on the pizza and be done. <laughs> That's that. That is the lingonberry sundae. All right, we're going over here. We're gonna try this bad boy out. Ooh, this is really hot. Here do we have the Swedish the meat version the Ikea. No, we're not doing that. We're just not, we're not. So here's an item you are not going to find at Costco. This is a signature item found right here at Ikea. This is the meatball sundae. So they begin with a scoop of mashed potatoes. They add three Swedish meatballs. Then they add that brown gravy and then they top it off with lingonberry. And if you're not familiar with what lingonberry is, go to an Ikea. It's everywhere here. It's a berry that is found primarily in Sweden throughout Scandinavia, but it's kind of like coming to Minnesota and getting blueberries or going to California and getting strawberries. You can get blueberries and strawberries everywhere, but lingonberries, it's pretty much only found here at Ikea and your neighborhood grocery store, I'm sure, as well. All right, so I've got a fork full of that Swedish meatball covered in that gravy, covered in that mashed potatoes, and of course, covered in the lingonberry. We're just gonna try this out. Hmm. Okay, so within the first bite, there is a lot to unpack here. There are so many flavors happening all at once. You've got that savoriness of the meatball, you've got that richness of the gravy, and then that sweet kind of berry punch from the lingonberry. And it all kind of wraps together in a very peculiar and pretty interesting flavor concoction. The best way that I can describe it is that lingonberries are tart. They're kind of sweet and tart at the same time, but all of this mixed together is kind of the only way that I can think about this is it's kind of like a Swedish Thanksgiving dinner in a forkful. I'm not sure if it's good, but it's not bad. All right, so right now we're gonna leave Ikea. We're gonna head back to Costco. We are going to compare everything that we have tried out today. So now that we've compared Costco to Ikea, let's review. Hot dogs, definitely Costco. They're big, they're plump, they're meaty. Ikea's, not so much. The pizza here at Costco, much more superior than the pizza at Ikea. The pizza at Ikea was flat, they didn't offer anything but cheese, and it was mainly dough with a little bit of sauce and a little bit of cheese. So 
pizza here at Costco, definitely a hit. When it comes to the signature items, the chicken bake here at Costco, most definitely not a hit. The meatball sundae over at Ikea, it was unique, it was flavorful, it was delicious, and it beat the pants off of the chicken bake here at Costco. Ikea definitely wins with the meatball sundae. So guys, if you're hungry for more, check out that video right there. If you're starving for more, check out that playlist right there. It is getting very crowded in here, and uh, we're gonna take our cart of about $400 worth of uh, paper towels and uh, get out of here.